for every program that you write, there's going to be a program parameter screen that helps us control some of the things um, that are specific to that particular program. These are a global set of parameters that control different aspects of a conversational program, and the changes in this particular screen will not affect any previously programmed program parts or any programs that you're going to, to uh, program in the future. Things like what is the rapid traverse that the machine is going to travel. If you have a machine that is very, very fast with a new operator, you may want to slow that down while that operator is getting familiar with the machine. Maybe you don't have as many parts to run, so speed is not as critical for you. You want to uh, remain a little safer. You might want to back that inches per minute rapid rate down. Uh, things like what is the maximum RPM that you're going to allow the spindle to turn. If we're programming in constant surface speed, obviously as the tool approaches the center of that part, the closer to center it gets, the faster the spindle will run. And if you don't put a smaller value in here, it will run all the way up to whatever the maximum is available on that particular machine. And sometimes based on the type of work holding or so forth, you don't want to, to allow that. So we can, we can uh, clamp that to a specific RPM. On both of these, the default is going to be a very low number, as you see, 100 inches a minute and 100 RPM on the primary spindle. So you're going to uh, want to change this on every program you write. Or if you find that you are changing these settings quite often, you see the last button there on the right. It says Save as Default. You can put that value in there, hit Save as Default, and then every time you create a new program, those will become the defaults for that particular, for every program going forward. Now we can change things like the feed override lockout. That just means if I put yes here, I'm enabling the feed override lockout, which means none of my uh, feed rate override, rapid override, or spindle ro override potentiometers, the knobs on the control, those won't work. I can set those to wherever I want, but everything defaults to 100%. And do I want to stop before or after tool changes requiring a cycle start to... Uh, to carry on. Some people like to run after a tool change happens whether the the optional stop is on or not we just want to automatically have that stop. So you have the option of doing that before after the tool changes both or neither at all. And then we have the user defined tool change position and if we do select the user defined here you see that the in the uh, particular example shows move to home that means every tool change the turret is going to go all the way to home. I can also set a user defined position there which would open up the next three fields that I can reference part zero or the machine zero, give it an actual X and Z location, and then whether I wanted to move X first, Z first simultaneously, or so forth. So I have some control over those things um, on how I want them to run individually by program.